I want to talk to you, just share a little bit about uh, my journey, and uh, you'll hear more Mirza Hashem when we get back. And I want to encapsulate it with uh, with a word. There's this idea of being in a teva, obviously in Parshas Noach. Teva is enclosed. You're stuck within it. You're cloistered. It's dark. It's uncertain what's going to be, how things are going to turn out when you're in a teva. It's a teva, a teva of despair, a teva of almost being myopic, not being able to see past the next day and where we go from here. And on some level, the Jewish people have been in a teva. It's a teva that one could call maybe an echo chamber of hearing all of the anti-Semitism, all of the, these, these protests, these terrible statements from university leaders or non-statements from university leaders, students on universities, campuses, unfortunately from certain members of our Congress, thankfully not from our administration. And we're so thankful for that, uh, that support. President Biden's visit this week Blinken a few days ago, the governor of New York, all of those things mean so much to the people of Israel. They've told me so. They're just kind of overwhelmed by that sense of a feeling. If there could be an achdus between the U.S. and Israel, they feel it and it helps. But, there, but being in that teva, it's where we are thinking about it in America. We're in that teva. And I came over here with Jordana and we came in not knowing what to, what to see, what we're going to experience, but in that, in that teva. But there's something else that typifies the teva. HaKadosh Baruch Hu tells Noach, Tzohar Ta'asela Teva. There needs to be a window in that teva. There needs to be something that lets in light. There needs to be something that radiates a certain, dif- a certain perspective, a certain different understanding of things, a certain clarity, a certain hope that illuminates that darkness. And I found it here in Yerushalayim. I found it here in, in going to uh, refugee centers, refugee centers of all of the tens of thousands, right? Hundreds, I think there's 200,000 displaced people at this point. And what are they doing? They're in, ho- they're, they're in hotels. The hotels are taking them in with love, with care. They're singing and dancing in the hotels. People coming and, and, and playing literally like, in a, a, like it's a wedding. I'm there. They're doing arts and crafts with the kids. We came in and we gave out candies. And we gave out letters from, from our own children in shul and from children at school at Westchester Day School and there's Sohar, there's a light. My key my key phrase, Banu mi New York. They say, What? Ma? Bata mi New York? What? Anu achpat lachem? You care about us? You're feeling it? Yes. And it's every sector of society. You even see it in the Shiva calls that we've made going to Shiva homes from, from the most Literally, as self-described, smolanim, liberalim, and just completely overwhelmed that we care about them, that we're thinking about them, that there are Jews in the world that aren't listening to the other press, that we're in their minds. From a shiva house that of a, of, of a Haredi boy who was at that rave, at that concert, and all of Am Yisrael being there. It's unbelievable seeing like literally Haredim, like right out of Shtisel, Mamish. And then all of a sudden boys came in with tattoos and earrings and, and they were accepted with love. Tell us about, tell us about my son. You, you knew my son, you hung out. It's incredible. It's incredible. Everywhere you go. Tzohar ta'ase la teva. There is hope. There is light. And we found it here within the spirit of Am Yisrael. And I've brought that spirit, literally, 
from everyone. I'm showing videos of what, of what we were doing in, in our shul in New York, what's happening, how we're thinking about them. And it, literally people's eyes light up. Kol HaKavod Shabbatim. Wow! Kol HaKavod Shabbatim. Tufa goes both ways. Shtei Drachim, it goes both ways, not just out, it goes in. Wow. Thank you. We're all with you. We're all thinking about you. That's how we move forward. That's how you recover from a mobble of hate, a mobble of destruction. From that mobble, we have a teva, and we have a tzohar. We have a way out. And Amir Tashem, that spirit of Am Yisrael, of Medina Yisrael, of this incredible achdos that we all have at this moment, it should continue to permeate our people to see this through to the end so that we truly see Shalom al Yisrael speedily, the Karov Mamish, and we should all be together here in Yerushalayim, Mirakodesh. Shabbat Shalom to everyone. Sending love.